What's up everybody? It's me James again with another video. I got clearance today to remove my splint. Uh, still got some swelling here. But anyway, I want to show you these Kershaw knives. Uh, these are slip joint knives made by Kershaw. I mentioned them in the last video, so let's take a look at these things real quick. So we got these uh, Kershaw knives in the last video. Um, we had uh, the, the Kershaw leak and I, and I got to thinking like, hey, you know what? It'd be really awesome to look at these new um, slip joints that Kershaw's made. And uh, so I went on Amazon and I ordered them. And uh, if you're interested in them, I got the Amazon links uh, down below as well. And uh, so after this video, if you want to check any of these out for yourself, you can... Um, just click the link and it'll take you here. Uh, they have weird names, as you can see here. Uh, it's called the uh, Gat, uh, Gads, Gadsden, uh, Cole Pepper, and Brandywine. Uh, it is basically a Stockman, uh, kind of a Barlow. I, I would say this is a Barlow, and I'm, I'm really excited about this knife. And this one here is just a uh, Trapper. It is a mid-sized Trapper. Um, do they just, can they call it whatever they want, can't they? So they did. All right. So obviously my favorite one is this one. I ordered these from Amazon. They're really inexpensive. I think the most expensive one was like $27, I want to say. And, uh, the quality is great. Um, these things are just really nice. They have satin, I'm pr probably satin steel bolsters. Um, they have brass liners. They're very even. Look at this. I mean, the fit and finish on these are really, really good. Surprisingly good. There's one drawback. If you're um, wondering where these are made, they're made in China. And yes, but you can get it for like one of these knives. I forget which one it is. I think it might be this one, like $21 or $22. This here, this this Barlow, they call it a Culpepper. Um, it's like 21 bucks or something. And I mean, look at this thing. It's almost perfect. It's like super pretty. Some gaps up here, but I mean, barely. I mean, for the price, I am I am not complaining. You get a pool on this right side. You get a pool on the left side. You can actually pinch this blade open because of that. Kershaw. It says China. And there, I'm assuming the model number. Yeah, 4383. So they're stainless steel as well. And they're super nice. Look at this, the lineup. It's like really, really good. I'm keeping this one. I'm gonna return the other two after the video review. I kind of bought them all just to see which one I liked. Um, and uh, I like the Stockman. I might actually keep the Stockman. Uh, I'm not a fan of trappers. Just, to, you know, just not a fan of trappers at all. I have a couple case trappers and I like them and that's probably what I would just stick with. But there's nothing wrong with this one. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Centered. No gaps. Absolutely. Beautiful knife. I mean, it's a nice knife. It's it's uh, probably a little bit better fit and finish than um, uh, a Rough Rider. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive than a Rough Rider generally. Um, but, you know, just a little bit more expensive. And... You get like a lot better fit and finish, I noticed. Because I've had a lot of Rough Riders when I was selling them. And there was a couple dogs in there. Uh, most of them usually had like a little bit of a gap. But for what you for the money you, you're paying, you can't really complain. So, um, but these, the little bit more money that you pay, you really get a quality knife. If you notice on this one, look, the blades are not touching each other. And that's not touching the liner on the top either. I mean, this is really awesome fit and finish. This is a case, if you're watching, go buy you a Chinese, uh, go to China and figure out how they're making these things so you can do a good job. So, because, I mean, <laughs> the people in China are making better knives than you are, and I'm sure they're not, uh, you know, handmade just like yours aren't. So, let's start down the line. Let's start with this uh, Gats, Gatson, Gadsden, anyway. Model number 4381. It is basically 
a, um, a, a what do they call that? Mid-sided trapper? Oh, if it was a case, what do they call that? A uh, medium trapper? This would be a medium stockman. This would probably be a me, um, mini trapper. I don't know. Forget the name or the, the name of theirs. Anyway, you're looking at about uh, three and a half inches closed. Oh, you're not in camera view. Three and a half inches closed. A little under three and a half, but yeah, a little bit under three and a half. So you have a really nice main blade. These are my Carta handles. They have good snap too. They they don't have a um, they don't have half stops, but you can hear they got plenty of snap. All right, with this blade open, six and a quarter. Little, yeah, about six and a quarter inches open. And here's your spade blade. A little, little sloppier. Still has snap though. Maybe could use some oil. Really nice satin finish. And look at these, the grinds on these things are really good. I mean, really good. Kershaw has been known to make super sharp knives. So I guess that was important for him. Really nice. Is this the same length? Let's find out. Six and a quarter, I would say. Six and maybe, a, yeah, six and a quarter. So that is the little mini trapper. They call it the Gadsden. Very nice. I mean, look at this thing. It has a really good fit and finish. Really good fit and finish. And satin, uh, brass liners really good centering <laughs> really good it is surprisingly good awesome now this is their barlow they call it the cold pepper and it's got a little lanyard hole it did not come with a lanyard i don't think it did it comes in these really nice boxes by the way yeah i don't see a no no lanyard in there um really cool box put this back so this guy is coming in at four, under four and a quarter. Uh, this one's got really good snap. Not like gator snap, but good enough. Seven and a half, a little bit under seven and a half inches open. So, you know, I forgot to show you. Let's see how these... Uh, springs are look at this almost flush open almost flush open both of them are flush closed to me the flush closed is the most important because it's going to be in your pocket um if it was a custom knife it would probably matter a lot more but um for something that's 20 something bucks whatever um you see here just barely, barely up, maybe not. Yeah, I can feel it's just barely, uh, barely high, proud. Um, good, closed, smooth, no gaps. I mean, you got something here, a little bit of something, but you can't, it, the, it really doesn't look that bad in person, uh, but you can see it, it's there, but it's not ungodly like those case knives I, were, I was getting a year ago. Blade centering, look at that. Very center. Cool micarta handles, lanyard hole, like I said, brass liners. And what makes this one really neat is you got a pull on this side, and you got a pull on this side. That's really cool. You got a nice swedge up here as well. I mean, this is a sweet knife. I completely think, I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, this one's really cool. I like that guy. Oh, hey guys. I completely forgot while making the video that tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I also forgot to say, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications for when I upload new videos. 
Also, share them with your friends who also love slip joint knives. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the video, but I wanted to tell you all, have a happy and safe Thanksgiving, okay? And that's a tree. This one is the Stockman, and it's like a medium Stockman, okay? And like I said, look at this thing. It has really good fit and finish like the rest of these all have really good fit and finish like for a for a under $30 knife these are impressive um I wish they offered a bone handle but they, they I haven't seen it yet but these are great so great snap once again all these blades none of the grinds look weird none of them look weird just it's a really nice knife Really good, really good. Nice and clean on the inside too, let's see. Just nice, it's just really for the money, this is a really good deal. Look at this blade, it's got a wicked edge. Look at that, really pretty. Um, on open, all these are smooth on this one. That one's a little proud. Those are like darn near flush. Really cool. And they kick these things where they don't even fall on each other. Now that's awesome. Especially for a stockman. You got three blades wedged into a little package here. Uh, let's measure this one. Looking at three, a little bit over three and a half. Just a little bit over three and a half. And the longest blade on here would be this one. So open We're looking at six and a quarter yeah six and a quarter really 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 nice knives i had to show you i mean the last video i mentioned them and i thought man i'd make a great video especially since i'm out of surgery you know so those are really sweet um i am keeping this one for sure this one is definitely gonna get some pocket time I think I might actually, uh, I mean, these things are so cheap. I was thinking I might learn how to recover a handle with one of these things. And that's where um, you take the knife apart, you take the handle off, you know, the, the material like this micarta, and you put the handle material you want on there. Um, and I, I like bones, so maybe I'll learn how to cut recover with one of these. I mean, if I screw it up, I'm only out 20 bucks. So not a lot of money. And this one, if you guys are into mini trappers, you know, this Gadsden is, it's a, it's a great one, man. It is really good. They really did a good job on this. Wonderful looking knives. Wonderful looking knives. They are stupid sharp um, out of the box too. Let's get, do we have some paper around here? So I want to use this knife because I'm going to keep this one. So... It is sharp, real sharp. I like it. I mean, these things are, sorry, I moved the camera. Whoa. Um, these things are beautiful. They're really nice. They're shaped really well. These are these are winners, man. Um, I would take this over Rough Rider. The only thing is Rough Rider comes in more styles and um, more uh, styles, more handle materials, things that are really nice, you know, but for for the um, for the money, if you're looking for a workhorse, dude, this micarta is like some bulletproof stuff. And these things are sharp out of the box. They have great fit and finish. I mean, I'm talking great fit and finish. Is it GEC fit and finish? No, but it's close to GEC fit and finish. It's better fit and finish than a Rough Rider, and definitely a lot better than um, a Case. So if you're looking for a workhorse knife, these these got the green light, man, because these things, especially, there's a lot of people like Stockman's. They're workhorses, and the Trappers are. Barlow's, I guess so. Um, I've never used a Barlow as a workhorse, but it definitely can be. Stainless steels, these things are great. So you cannot go wrong with one of these knives. Uh, anyway, I guess that's the end of this video. Went a bit long, but that's all right. Uh, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if you can. I'll see you next week with another video. Hopefully I'll come up with something interesting. 
All right. Bye-bye.